Hey guys, what's up? Then here with a new video. Been a long time since I made a video on this channel, around the six months, but Settlers of the Calgar looks amazing and as always the League Start means Minion Army. In today's video we're gonna take a look at my Minion Army League Starter, a cheap build that can comfortably farm tier 16 maps on a low budget of only a few divines. In the pinned comment of this video you're gonna find the full written build guide for this league starter and you're also gonna find the full video build guide that I made a few leagues ago. I decided to make this video now since I just finished my atlas and although the POB that is listed on the POE Vault website has everything set accordingly such as automated flasks, 30k armor, good levels on the gems, I want to show you that you don't need to go into high investment such as 4-5 divines which is quite a lot for the first few days of the league. You only need one divine of investment to comfortably finish your atlas, just send your minions in front and the play a little bit slower and you're gonna get the job done. So let's take a quick look at my one divine minion army league starter. And this is the one divine minion army league starter. We have a trigger one here with the plus one. I think I bought this one for around 30 chaos. We have a more of mischief. I don't even have enough blessed orbs to roll the implicit properly. I paid I think 10 chaos for this one. We have profane proxy. We have Asenat's gentle touch. These were 20 chaos and 30 chaos if I'm not mistaken. I paid 5c for this corrupted six link. I don't yet have a Darkness and Tromstigian Vice, I just have this Rustic Sash which I found during the campaign guys. Item level 19 requires level 13. Uh, pretty much the same for this amulet which I think I found just as I started running low tier maps. I bought this ring for around 10 chaos or 15 chaos if I'm not mistaken. Bought this pair of boots for around 10 chaos and I think I paid around 8 chaos for this shield right here. Let's take a quick look at the gems as well, so Desecrate, Determination and the Flesh Offering, Ray Spectre, Pierce, DMP and the Summon Phantasms, Ray Zombie with the Val Summon Skeletons level 21, bought this gem for around 25 chaos. This is a dual 5 link setup, we also have here Behead, Multi-Strike, Malefit and Ruthless Support. In the Profane Proxy Ring, which should be in your left ring slot, we have a Punishment, and we have a summon carrion golem, feeding frenzy, minion life and animate guardian in the gloves. And we have here faster attacks with the shield charge, we can't use the phase run on a left click anymore, we can't use instant skills on a left click, this is a change that took place in the previous league if I'm not mistaken, so we're gonna go for shield charge and faster attacks. And we have our cast when damage taken molten shell setup, you can also go for a val molten shell if you'd like. Besides that in the shield I have my flame dash, summon skitter boots and I also have a tempest shield. I don't yet have automated flasks, I don't have uh, the granite flask or the phasing flask. This is the quicksilver flask that I got during the campaign and I also have a basic mana flask. Only have around 3.7k armor as of the cast when damage taken molten shell is not that great but it gets the job done. The animate guardian gear is the dying breath stuff, leer cast mask, vulnerability on hit corrupted gloves, ambush charge and windscreen boots. He is applying an extra curse, the vulnerability from his gloves, which increases our single target by quite a bit. It's noticeable versus bosses. We have our zombies, we have the carrion golem, three frost auto scouts, the summon skitter boots, the animate guardian and of course we have our skeletons and our val summon skeletons as well. This is pretty much everything uh, that I have in this build. Um, I also have some items here. I mean one item. <laughs> I had enough currency to buy an unending hunger cobalt jewel. We should have two so I'm gonna buy another one in the following uh, days after I finish making these videos and farm a little bit more. I don't yet have the large cluster jewel here for minion damage, the enduring composure small cluster jewel and also the uncompromising small cluster jewel right so it's a pretty basic uh, version of a minion army. Since I don't yet have uh, the large cluster jewel the extra points I decided to invest here and I have also invested uh, them here and I got an extra note here I think these three are not in the final passive skill tree so I spent a little bit more points on life but I am gonna respect these and I am gonna go for minion damage. Besides that since I am farming blights I have went for this uh, caster mastery 
This gives us spell damage while building a staff. It doesn't really matter. It's just the caster mastery that was closest to the um, official skill tree, let's say. And, um, you know, for only four points, I just press my skeletons. I press my sanctified mana flask and I am able to open all of the chests. And it's a lot of fun. I don't have to click a lot. My hands feel a lot better while using this caster mastery. So these points, I would say mandatory if you plan on farming a lot of blights. This is pretty much the current state of the build. Um, let's take a quick look at the POB. And this is the POB. We are a level 89 Necro. We have not that great stats here, barely have a 6k a max physical hit, but it's more than enough as long as you're gonna send your minions in front. Let's take a quick look at the sentences. So, unnatural strength has been changed. We have went with Bone Barrier instead, which is so much fun, guys. The Leech is or such a great quality of life feature it's so comfortable to play the build right now we don't really have to use our life flask that much and we're gonna be using it a lot less once we upgrade the build a bit more and we increase this fizz max hit taken and also this chaos max hit as well we have mistress of sacrifice commander of darkness and my secretion and bone barrier which i've already talked a little bit about these are the custom modifiers, Animate Guardian Gear, Lyrica's Mask, Dying Breath, Wind Scream, Ambush Charge, Vulnerability on Hit Corrupted Clubs. These are the mods that we're getting from the Animate Guardian, the buffs. The POB is set on low life, that's because I am using the Punishment Curse and I am also using Behead. So we don't have 1 million POB DPS, we have anywhere between 500k up to 1 million. 1 million when we're using our Vile Summon Skeletons and once the enemy goes on low life. So uh, these are the items, the ones that I have uh, shown you. I don't think I spent more than <laughs> defined on this build, around 120 chaos or so. There are a lot of other upgrades that I am gonna be making to this version in the following days but i decided to you know, make this video to show you guys that you don't really need that much investment to comfortably farm red tier maps or to finish your atlas the damage compared to the damage that we have on the poe vault uh, website pob is at around 50 percent so we have around 2 million pob dps there and we only have one this means that the tier 16 map bosses are a little bit uh, tankier so what i did is instead of buying the maps that I needed so I had to buy around 15 maps if I'm uh, not mistaken I didn't buy the tier 16 versions which meant that the bosses would be a lot tankier if the map required tier 13 I would buy a tier 13 tier 12 tier 14 tier 15 the map bosses in tier 16 maps are a lot tankier than in lower tiers this is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you on this uh, minion army league starter it's a lot of fun guys the only thing that you need to do is uh, send your minions in front I'll wait a little bit and uh, everything on screen is gonna explode once you find a tougher rare maybe use your val summon skeletons and uh, besides that you shouldn't have uh, that many issues now let's take a quick look at the atlas skill tree as well okay boys and this is the current atlas skill tree that i am going for we have 115 here i got uh, two void stones myself for the eater of worlds and the searing exarch and i bought a carry for maven and for uber elder and uh, in the following days as I drop an Elder Guardian map and a Shaper Guardian I'm gonna unlock these slots right here and uh, these probably later in the league. So full Atlas completion had to buy around the 15 maps um, especially the ones that uh, were unique I didn't find that many unique maps but you know we got the job done it wasn't that hard. Tier 16 map bosses are a little bit tougher as you're about to see here in a moment but let's talk a little bit about the Atlas skill tree. So, in the new Atlas skill tree, I can't find the chance for map drop or duplication anymore. So we had to spend the points uh, somewhere else. As always, I'm gonna go for Blights, but what's really nice, and I'm not sure if this uh, change has taken place in the previous league or this league, I wasn't able to play PoE in a 3.24, but we have a 100% chance to spawn Blights, which means that we don't really need to use Scarabs, and we should probably be able to make really good currency. But uh, this node right here guys is extremely dangerous and if you don't have at least I would say 5 to 10 million DPS you shouldn't be using Blight Spawn. This makes your maps extremely dangerous. The Blight Encounters are absolutely insane. You're spawning so many Blight Bosses. So we are pretty much fully specced into Blights. 
with the exception of this node which I am gonna take later in the league after I upgrade the build a bit more. I am also using a Cassia Sprite which makes the Arc Towers one shot pretty much everything it's so much fun and uh, the rest of the points I have spent into Searing Exarch Alters I am gonna farm them with Wrath of the Cosmos and uh, besides that I have spent a little bit into Scarabs and I have also spent as many points as I could into Heist since Deception Contracts and Blueprints pretty easy to sell them once you have a boot. This is the Atlas Kildry that I would recommend for this Dominion Army League Starter we are also going for Conqueror maps, we have Shaper Elder and Synthesis maps. If you don't enjoy farming Blights, what you could do is instead you can go for Harvest, which is not that difficult. If you find them extremely tanky in tier 16 maps, then use this Atlas skill tree. You don't really need 115 points, you can use 80 points. And you can farm Harvest, you can also farm Essences in low tier maps. So this was the Minion Army League Starter update for the 3.25 Calgar League. Check the pinned comment of this video, you have the full written guide there, the full video build guide there that I made a few leagues ago. You also have the written guide for the Arakalis Fango Cultist, which is a better build that you should go for with only 10 divines or so of investment you're gonna be able to comfortably farm tier 16 maps and pinnacle bosses and invitations. So many things the Arakalis Fango Cultist build can do. So I'm gonna leave you with the tier 16 map showcase. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. It was a lot of fun to make this video, gonna run some farming strategies and I'll be back with another video in a few days. Bye guys.
it is trying to spread. It's put out new mycelium. New roots. 